guys, welcome back to the CJ Show, and I got my favorite gin and juice here, and my sister Nikki, and we hope that you guys are having a good day today. Let's get on with this video. We're going to be talking about DeAndre Cottrell. Rest in peace to him, and we want to send out our condolences to his friends and family. Now, we're going to get into this video and there's a whole lot of speculations. This is a very bizarre uh, story. You do not expect to see a man, a healthy man at that, but just a man, um, go visit his family members for the 4th of July and basically say, hey, I'm going to go in, check on my dog because, you know, the dog, our dogs are acting, you know, because of the fireworks that does trigger them. And you do not expect to not see them come back because of this event. Now, I want to, before we get into anything, I want to point something out first because i know everybody has been doing their own facts checks speculations and all that stuff and everybody's trying to figure out what the heck happened okay now one thing i noticed in this news clip the news reporter said here we can see uh Deon deandre walking in someone's backyard he is casually walking in a downpour. To me, downpour is like rain. Casually walking is the walking that we do when we're in the mall or just walking to the mailbox. We're just walking with not a scare or care in the world. One thing I also notice, the lighting. This does not look like something that happened. After 9 nor 10 o'clock at night, I know that maybe they brightened up the video a little bit so that we can be able to see to, to maybe to see him or see whatever. Um, but you can tell that the background and how it looks, it looks like it was between any time between four to about seven and it looks like you know it, it has that look that you know when it's been raining all day and the sun is is just gone like you don't see the sun at all this is what this look like to me it looks like how it looks right before it's about to get dark but this does not look like, okay, this video was captured in the dark and this is just light coming from a street light or backyard light at all. Another thing that I noticed here in this video, he has on, I know that they say that he loves to dance. He's in a relationship you can tell that he's fit. He does the TikTok dances and he's doing that stuff, going to school, to, well, was going to school to become a doctor and he loves fashion. Okay, I don't know if this is a red sock or if this is a red high shoes like type of a shoe, but I'm only seeing one red one red object, regardless of whether it's a sock or a shoe. Where is the other one? I don't know between, I, I, I don't know. Now we know, I don't know if he did not see his dog, but supposedly from what, you know, I guess the boyfriend was telling the sister that he went in there in the house. When say he got inside of the house, he was just, he ran out the house and out the back like out the window, off the, off the balcony, he was running for his dear life. Okay, maybe his shoe fell off during that time. But I just don't see how that could even be possible when you have all your family in the front yard. It's like, why try to go? And wouldn't that mean that the person in the house, the person is already like in the house about to do something? Now, only way this could be possible that you jump 
off the balcony, you jump out the window. You don't have on a shoe of any kind unless you took something and it just all of a sudden just took effect and it got you on the loose goose um chase and race. But that can explain the jumping out the window, supposedly. That can explain, you know, the the freaking jumping off the balcony if you did that. But what it does not explain, and it even explains you have it on one shoe or one sock. Pouring in a downpour, it could be it could have been drizzling. It ain't had to be no hard rain. But the news reporter said that you was casually walking. And we could see that you're looking for something. I'm just going to take it as you was looking for your dog. Okay. It's also very important to note that he was in a love triangle, three persons relationship. I'm assuming maybe they lived together. They was all in this, in this relationship. The day before, according to Julian, he told his lawyer this, that they, I guess, you know, they had broke up or, you know, I don't know. Normally when this stuff happened, when we have this three wheel type of a thing, somebody, see, we can all have that bedroom boom together and that could be marvelous. But then once we get out of that stage, we got to have chemistry we have to have laughter. We have to have all those things. And honestly, multiple people can't give you that. Not in the love sense where I can say, okay, I love you like this. You're going to start spending time, privately time, with one more soul than the other because both of them can't be great for the conversation and just great. Like we're not on a movie here. Okay. Whatever happened to where they said, hey, you know, you can't be in this crowd no more. Or whoever did the breaking up, who knows? How this is looking, it looks strange. Okay? Also, let's look at Julian really quick. Julian is a light-skinned man or a mixed guy. I don't understand how I do not understand how. Cottrell could have been just not fighting for his life, not doing anything. If the brother said that he had to go verify his body and it was in a shed, he had a little bit of dirt like on his face, it's like a little bit of dirt. He he wasn't all roughed up or anything that he see it that he could see, and basically it was due to strangulation. This is what had him to pass on. Okay, that takes between three to five minutes to do that. We know he didn't do this in himself. We know that he didn't do this in himself. Um. The boyfriend stayed back, so the sister, whoever, went looking for him. Now, the only reason why the sister and the family went looking for him is because Julian said he seen him, and he jumped, basically, running for his dear life, and he jumped out the window in a panic attack. Um... So that's the reason why they were so quick to go and see what happened and what's going on because that will make anyone stop what they're doing. Let's stop the fireworks. Let me see what's going on with my brother. Not to mention, whatever time that he's supposed to be at a win in the house to say, let me go check on my dog. I'm giving him a 15 minutes grace period. 
to go check, check on the dog, make sure the dog is okay, see what you need to see, go wash your hands, maybe fix you some more food, get something to drink, look at the text, call the call the ex, see what's going on, make sure, okay, guess what, by the time we come back, I hope you have all your stuff and get out, that's the reason why I didn't pick you, didn't choose you, you're kind of crazy, me and Julian, we're here, or whatever, um, that gives you enough time to do all that. Then go out the door, not window, go back out the door and enjoy the festivities because that's the reason why you came. Anyways, you didn't come to be inside of the house and staying in there with your dog for no long time doing all this stuff, right? And the only motivation that the sister and the family's had is because Julian had to go back and say he was running like he was um, scared for his dear life and jumped out that window and left. That's what got them on board, right? Okay, when it's time to go look for him, Julian stays back with the mom. The mom don't go. I don't blame the mom for not going to go and be a part of the looking search because who you know she could be older too much for her or just okay it's always one person has to stay behind just in case he show up and then we can call and everybody know hey guys d is right here he said he went to the he went to look for you know little little billy he found him he was way over there by the corner store and now he's back okay we could see that happening now all of a sudden the next day come she already didn't say Julian is, is talking, just is saying it like it's not nothing. He's eating a plate of food like it's nothing. Like, okay, um, D do this all the time. He always go running away and jumping off windows, except, but this time we're not in Atlanta, Georgia. We're here. Now, either you're going to tell me that he's on, he, he's taking some meds, he's taking something that got his behavior acting. Like he always acts, but you're going for a second plate of food. And from the time she's saying that, okay, you got a plate of food like it was a midnight snack. Like this is just a late night snack and you, you're you eating again. Okay. Like it's no concern. We know where he's at. Okay. Um, basically, I don't know how this happened when the news reporter i'm guessing the very following day then said okay hey we're looking for julian too now he's also missing and we're trying to find both of them before it was okay julian could be a, a suspect or anything now it was like two boyfriends is missing both of them didn't left and this is weird it's getting crazier and crazier this is what's going on now, the sisters is, is to me, I know everybody deal with things differently, but for, for me, everybody deal with grief differently, and she was just talking just like as if she was talking about the dog, and that was it. No family member is missing, no family member, you just, nobody found, found your brother in a shed or anything, and guess what? This could be, she just... You know, everybody handles grief differently. It couldn't have been me. The family, you know, was doing a lot. It just couldn't be me. But we don't know. I guess we're going to be learning more about this. But I can say this. I don't. It just seems odd to me. Unless he knew the area well. And unless the boyfriend knew the area well the ex knew the area well according to the sister they came down to see the new house that the mom and the sister are seeing in the new location so I, I just don't understand Julian being full of rage and losing it which anything is possible losing it like that it kind of sort of seemed as if somebody planned this anyways from looking at the camera and him with one shoe on. Well, one sock, whatever that was, one was on and the other one was, was, was off. That doesn't seem like somebody in their right state of mind. Unless, unless 
The only way I'm walking out the house like that, looking for anything, is if I know for a fact I had no time to think about putting on those shoes and doing nothing because one of my family members was in danger. And I wouldn't care what I had on or, or you know, who who would care? You don't really care. I wouldn't care if I had on a, a um, shoot a shirt, no shoes, no nothing. It's an emergency. I see it. I'm running to it. And it would and it would be something that I would have to see. You're not really thinking. But he's doing this and it's raining. Supposedly it's raining. So something don't seem so right. And, and supposedly, uh, allegedly that the family you know do supply supply materials on the street i don't know if he took something but something is off i don't know if the ex-boyfriend i don't know you know can't even really want to say ex because y'all just broke up the day before the fourth or whatever i don't know if he went on a trip and decided to follow them like, I just don't know what happened, but this all went wrong. And honestly, everybody seemed guilty right about now. The ex seemed like, hey, you could have been mad and did something. Then it looks like the guy looked like D ended up taking something because you're, you're on the, um, you're on the camera with one shoe on, but you're walking casually. So I really don't know what to say. Is this just seem odd? You got the boyfriend alert and the sister like, yeah, D just ran out, ran down, and and he's eating a plate of food, not being concerned, but stand back talking to the mom like, yeah, D do this all the time. Don't worry, child. We are gonna find him. And then just for the very next day, for the news to say, okay, Julian is missing too. Ain't nobody heard from him. Then all of a sudden, the sister remembered, you know what? He said he was going to be in some houses. I just remember that. He said he was going to be, be in some homes. So we, 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 we're we now going looking into houses. But we, we found him in the shed because of the shoe. And we went in people's backyards. I don't know what's going on. This is just odd. Uh, hopefully, we know it's going to be with this. A update is gonna come and I wanna be there for that update and hopefully hopefully it is nothing crazy. Like the family or anybody did something, but this would have to be close to home, boyfriend, ex boyfriend. Somebody did this. I I just don't feel like this man was walking in somebody's backyard and was like, you know what, you don't got no business walking in my backyard. Let me strain you you have way to death, because there's the only thing to do. As if I just seen you inside of my house trying to, you know, take things out of my, my house or do something, you know. Guys, that's it. Let us know what you think about this and what really took place. Again, this happened in Alabama. And this was a uh, a love triangle that they're seeing. Some of people say it went wrong with three couples talking and right before the fourth they did two break up with one of the guys and um going to a family member's home trying to enjoy fireworks and eat and just leaving telling your sister hey i'm being i'm coming right back let me go and check on these dogs inside of the house I can even understand this if she would have been like, yes, they went back to the hotel to go check on the dog. No, he went inside of the house to go and check on the dog, never came back. And the boyfriend was able to see that he was running from his life and he jumped out of a window and he seemed like he was scared or he was on something and jumped out the window or, or off the balcony. You take your pick which one. We're out.